Good evening and welcome to Your News Now Sports. I'm Dylan Tyson. Tomorrow marks the opening rounds of the high school state tennis tournament. Out of 48 Division II athletes making the trip, five from right here in Allen County. We caught up with each of them. Starting with the singles bracket, Bath senior Ann Oliver is back on the big stage for the third straight year. But this trip will be her first flying solo. Both previous appearances were in the doubles bracket, where she competed with her older sister, Elena. Still, she's no stranger to playing singles. Last year, she won the WBL's second flight tournament, and this year finished runner-up in first singles. Oliver went on to finish the runner-up in last week's district tournament, and since then she's been hard at work, seeking to win her first set at state on Thursday. She credits the full support of her family, especially her sister and former doubles partner. She texts me every day before the match, giving me a long paragraph of what to do, and it's always just go out there, play your best, and believe in yourself. And I want to win, obviously, but to expect anything other than just playing my best with uh, support from family and trusting in God, yeah. I work my hardest at um, practice. I think coach is really like uh, purposeful and she always says practice makes permanent so just coming to practice and making your skill permanent is something that I like to achieve. At Shawnee High School, two athletes represent the Indians in the singles bracket, senior Rose Katapali and junior Ava Patel. Shawnee's the only program in all of Division II with multiple spots on the bracket. In WBL play, Katapali was the second singles champion, and Patel won the first singles bracket. Patel finished third in districts, just ahead of Katapali in fourth. And the family ties are strong here as well, as Patel's older sister, Alora, went to state last year as a senior. She credits the support for her success. It's definitely the family ties. My family's been a big support for me, and we practice together still, and I think we're pretty similar in how we're approaching everything. I've grown with my skill set, for sure, and uh, mentally, I think I'm more composed and ready for state. Yeah, it's a really like surreal feeling. Since I went, since I made it to district sophomore year, it's always been a goal of mine. I think the hard work is what really made it happen, and I'm really happy and grateful for the opportunity. I think the most important things are just hard work, practice, and on top of that, believing in yourself and just knowing that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Finally, we have a pair of LCC Thunderbirds heading to Worcester. The duo of Libby Simmons and Claire Janowski will compete in the double brackets at the state tournament. After making history in 2021 as the first female qualifier since 1986, Simmons is making her third consecutive trip to state, but her first for a doubles competitor. Meanwhile, for Janowski, the junior is making her second straight appearance at state in the doubles bracket. For these two Lady T-Birds, this season marks the first time they've competed together in competition. And it's not often best friends are able to compete with one another, but for Simmons and Janowski, they plan to make the most of this opportunity and leave it all on the court at state. Well, this is my third time going. Both two times I competed by myself, so it was a harder headspace. But this year, going in with my best friend, it's way more fun and much more enjoyable. Uh, well, we've known each other for 17 years now, and we've been neighbors for such a long time. And I know how she works, she knows how I work, so. We know how to communicate and just know each other's attitudes towards everything, and it just helps a lot. So I've always wanted to play doubles with her for such a long time, and this year's finally the year I can. So I'm just really excited to play with my bestie.